This guy made a topic asking if people were fed up with heroes who refuse to kill in situations where it makes perfect sense to kill. The replies were all saying the same thing. It depends on what kind of a story you are watching and if the characters are consistent with the in-series logic. The Transformers movie of the 80s became notorious for killing a lot of the characters and enraging a big portion of the audience. There was no major deaths in the series prior to the movie, so people were given no reason to dislike the fact nobody was dying. In Naruto, after the battle with Pain, everyone who had died came back to life. People were dying all the time in that show and weren't coming back. To be resurrected on such a scale and all at once made a big portion of the audience to rage since it was taking away the appeal of the show. It's a bit harder to judge that when there are deaths in the show and a character refuses to kill when he had no problem doing it a few episodes ago. Raftalia refusing to kill the noble in S.H.I.E.L.D. hero is such a case, since she had no problem killing before. The excuse given was how she didn't want to become like him, which doesn't make much sense, since by saying like him, she meant a one-dimensional evil sadist who loves torturing innocent people. With no indication of something like that happening, it wasn't following the in-series logic. Other shows, like Rurouni Kenshin, did a much better job at excusing that by showing the character becoming like the enemy he's trying to stop. So in this case, as irritating as it feels at times, it follows the in-series logic and is thus acceptable.